Prince Harry ignored the advice of some of his most senior aides and did not tell his father or brother before launching his extraordinary attack on the British press, it has been claimed. The Duke of Sussex, 35, accused media outlets of relentless propaganda and bullying, saying he feared his wife Meghan, 38, has fallen victim to the same powerful forces his mother Diana did before her death. Royal sources claim Harry was warned not to publish the statement while he and Meghan were still on their publicly funded tour of Africa. They also allege he refused to tell his father Charles and brother William, who only found out when the message was published, The Times reports. Buckingham Palace has not responded to the claims. Mail Online has contacted a spokesman for comment. The statement was published on a new Sussex website created specifically for it on Tuesday. The newspaper claims a separate website and different legal team from the one usually used by the royals were employed on purpose to distance Harry's team from his message. It comes after the royal couple announced Meghan has decided to take legal action against the Mail on Sunday after publication of a letter to her estranged father Thomas Markle. His statement read, Unfortunately, my wife has become one of the latest victims of a British tabloid press that wages campaigns against individuals with no thought to the consequences, a ruthless campaign that has escalated over the past year, throughout her pregnancy and while raising our newborn son. There is a human cost to this relentless propaganda, specifically when it is knowingly false and malicious, and though we have continued to put on a brave face, as so many of you can relate to, I cannot begin to describe how painful it has been. Because in today's digital age, press fabrications are repurposed as truth across the globe. One day's coverage is no longer tomorrow's chip paper. Law firm Shillings is representing the Duchess, instead of the royal firm of choice Harbottle and Lewis, who have recently worked on cases for both Harry and William. The timing of the announcement, which has been branded unfortunate by royal aides, is believed to be in line with legal advice from Shillings. Experts say they advised Harry to publish before the tour ended for maximum impact. A royal source told The Sun, this is not the done thing on a royal tour, when the principals are representing the Queen and country. I can't imagine the Queen will be very impressed. The legal proceedings in the Chancery Division of the High Court are being privately funded by Harry and Meghan. His statement ended, my deepest fear is history repeating itself. I've seen what happens when someone I love is commoditized to the point that they are no longer treated or seen as a real person. I lost my mother and now I watch my wife falling victim to the same powerful forces. Depending on the court ruling, proceeds from any damages will be donated to an anti-bullying charity. A spokesman for the Mail on Sunday said, The Mail on Sunday stands by the story it published and will be defending this case vigorously. Specifically, we categorically deny that the Duchess's letter was edited in any way that changed its meaning.